Yildirim Bayezid Khan, as he promised after the victory of Nigbalu, began to build the great mosque in Bursa. During the construction of the mosque, Samunku Baba provided the bread needs of the working workers. July After the construction of the mosque was completed, it was announced that an opening ceremony would be held on a Friday. On that day, Yildirim Bayezid Khan, his son-in-law Emir Sultan, Mala Fanari, many people from the ulama and Bursans filled the Grand Mosque. Yildirim Khan, who is sitting in the deckhouse of His Majesty, calls Emir Sultan to him and a conversation passes between them as follows You read the opening sermon. Emir Sultan Sultan Baba In this era, in this climate, the greatest of the neighborhood in science and law says that it is not necessary to read a sermon to us while standing decently among us. The Sultan was surprised by the Emir's words Who is he, when he says, the order he is the Sheikh Hamid I Vili, whom the people know as Samanku Baba. He hides himself, but we are aware of his state. Dior is a district bitzat in both the visible and western sciences. He is a great sage. And it is only appropriate for him to inaugurate the Grand Mosque, he says. Upon this, the Sultan gives the task to Samanku Baba Emir Sultan decamped through the ranks to Samanku Baba, where he knelt next to him am I sheikh. This Friday is the first Friday of the Grand Mosque. This task is yours. The Sultan has transferred it to us. But when I was with you, I told you that this job was not appropriate for us. He also said that he wanted you to read the sermon. Samanku Baba Lo, my Emir, you broke the secret. You gave our permission to leave, he responds upon this, the Emir Sultan gets very upset. After that, the Samanku father comforts as follows don't worry. If your heart is with me, you are always with me, even if I am in Yemen. If your heart is not in me, even if you are with me, you are always far away. Samanku Baba was going to interpret the chapter of Fatiha, which means opening, since it was the opening of the mosque. When the sermon comes out, there are parts of the interpretation of Fatiha I Seraphim that some scholars are reluctant to understand and do not understand. Let's make an interpretation of this surah for him, by commanding him to make an interpretation of Surah Fatiha. Alhamdulillahi, the Lord of the Universe. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of the Worlds, after making the first three interpretations, the congregation was now just watching as if immersed in other realms. Samanku Baba also found himself, became a heart with the congregation gathered at the mosque and stopped chanting. While his tongue was doing the fourth, fifth, sixth and then the seventh of the Fatiha tafsirs, his heart was chanting. See that he was doing each interpretation in another position of the worlds. The fire inside him was rising strangely, breaking off from his tongue like a breath and spreading incense over the congregation. Finally, when the interpretation was finished, what happened happened, the secret was revealed. Samanku Baba had ordered such a sermon that the Bursans had never heard such a sermon until then. He spoke many wise words. Everyone was surprised out of their amazement. Bursans understood the greatness of Samanku Baba after that Umala Fanari. Samanku Baba first dealt with our difficulty in the interpretation of Surat al Fatiha by showing generosity. These seven kinds of exegesis are a just witness to his greatness. Everyone in the congregation understood Fatiha's first interpretation. Some of them understood the second interpretation, and those who understood the third interpretation were very few. Those who understood the fourth and the following were not among us, he couldn't help saying the first one was understood by everyone. The second was understood by the majority, the third was understood by the minority, the fourth was understood by the Arifs. The others were understood by the parents who could not understand anyone from the congregation, and participated in the assembly with the spirit of the threes, sevens, forties community, and after the exegesis he made in the love offices. Under the supervision of the prophets, he slowly descended from the pulpit. He went to the altar and became the imam of the congregation, stopped praying when the prayer ended, a storm broke out in the mosque. The congregation looking for Samanku Baba turned to whichever door it looked at without hesitation. There was no one who turned back from the door he arrived at. Everyone from the congregation had seen him, had kissed his hand after Friday prayers. The people began to flock to Samanku Baba's house. Samanku Baba, on the other hand, was very disturbed by this situation. That's why it's time to leave Bursa. 
Malafanari, who heard that Samanku Baba was going to leave the city, went straight to him and my sheikh. I have been working on the interpretation of Surat Fatiha for many years. But there were places I couldn't understand. With this sermon, you have opened the curtains of cannabis, you have explained places that I did not know. In return for this grace, I would like to give you a gift of my coins that I earned halal in the madrasa. If you accept, I will be lucky, he said. But Samanku Baba did not accept this offer. He prayed to her. Malahu is sad about the departure of Samanku Baba and your eminence. Please, don't go. Do not deprive us, he insisted. But the Samanku father who made the decision we have a secret here, your holiness. It's not for us to stay here anymore. Because our duty is to be a secret, he replied early one morning. Gavas Pasha set off taking a few students from the madrasa with him. Malafanari, who heard that Samanku Baba was leaving Bursa, ran and caught up with him next to a plane tree. He begged very hard not to go and stay in Bursa, he made requests. But he couldn't get her to accept. Finally, he asked the Bursans to pray. Samanku Baba, turning his direction to Bursa next to this plane tree, prayed that it would be a fertile, fertile city and remain green, and they left saying goodbye. The area where this plane tree is located in Bursa was called Dua Plane Tree.